Good evening everyone and welcome back to another tutorial on Greg Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at the industrial centrifuge and the Greg Tech computer cube. Uh, the inter uh, Right here I have a basic, well sort of basic energy supply using the interdimensional storage units that I set up on the last tutorial. Uh, they are just powered by the uh, solar array over yonder and I'm using an, an adjustable energy storage unit to act as a transformer to take the higher voltage, uh, the EV power, out of the interdimensional array and turn it into low voltage that these machines can handle. So first I'm going to take and stick a computer cube here and a industrial centrifuge next to it. Now the reason why we're taking a look at both the, or at the uh, computer cube as well as the industrial centrifuge is a computer cube has a very useful feature. Actually it has several. Um, one of them is a reactor planner that you see here that we can change and put you know all sorts of different things in it um, and basically plan out an entire uh, uh, fusion reactor that way. Uh, it also has a scanner to uh, scan your seed bags. It has all of the recipes for the industrial centrifuge, so you can figure out how to make the, the uh, various items that you need. It has the uh, recipes for the fusion reactor, which we will go over in a different tutorial. And some basic uh, information on some of the various machines. So that's uh, some additional reading material so you can figure out how some of these different uh, machines work. And the computer cube is whoops, is made using data orbs, energy flow circuits, an advanced machine block, and some glass panes. So well, uh, well worth actually building one of these. Uh, you may end up building several of them because the one thing that... Uh, really important part of this is whenever you exit the uh, uh, system, the computer cube, everything will reset. So if you're using it, uh, you can use this to monitor your uh, your reactor, but uh, if you if you go to any of the other uh, modes, it will reset all of the programming in it. So you have to make sure that you're set up to uh, use that properly. So here's some of the uh, centrifuge recipes that are available uh, and basically the main thing that we want to look at here uh, I'm kinda looking for one in particular that I think probably the most interesting one for most is going to be um, interesting, you can turn endstone into helium and sand. That's kind of cool. Turn lava into gold. Takes a lot of lava to turn it into gold, but that's kind of cool. Lava cells, soul sand into fuel cans. Um, so what I'm looking for most is one, let's see, there's sand, silicon cells, uh, if I remember right, it is the, let's see, I want to look, whoops, I want to look at the recipe for this one, because it is the, I believe it is the silicon cells, Okay, that's not. There's, oh, it's. I believe it's one of the components that ends up going into one of these solar panels that uh, is needed here. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of research on the solar panels themselves yet, but we'll. Uh, We'll assume that the that this is uh, some of the stuff that uh, we're looking for here, and let's put some uh, get some empty cells. A 
and we're going to make some silicon cells and compressed air cells just because like I said I think that's the uh, one of the ones and it will be a good demonstrator anyway so we have our uh, industrial centrifuge we're going to put our empty cells or whatever container in this upper left spot and then we put our material that we're working with in the middle here and you can see it took four uh, two cells from here and is now humming its way uh, you can see it's arrow slowly moving there Oops. see it's going to take quite a while and I'm going to pause and we will be back once it finishes this uh, or maybe I need to add more sand let's uh, go ahead and stick more sand in there just for uh, just for grins I think it's just a matter of it it's going to take a while to actually do uh, go through there. Um, yeah, there it made some progress. So it's going to take a while, and I'm going to pause, and when it finishes, we'll come back and take a look. And we're back. Our centrifuge just finished. You can see now we have a silicon cell and a compressed air cell. So that does take a long time. Uh, the t actual time it takes depends on how much EU it takes. Uh, which can be found on the recipes in uh, the computer cube. So here's a recipe that this one only takes 5,000 EU. So, um, the sand recipe takes 50,000, so this should go significantly faster. And you can see progress is uh, being made there as well. This one is just using clay dust and empty cells. And I believe this also makes... Uh, Silicon cells is a byproduct as well, or as one of the outputs. So uh, I'm not sure how easy it is, is to get clay dust. Looks like you can use mortar and clay, macerate, or uh, use clay in a macerator. But you can see it goes much faster when, uh, depending on how much power it actually needs to uh, be supplied. And that did produce a silicon cell and a lithium cell. And lithium cell, I guess a, I'm not sure what that's actually used for at the moment, but looks like it's used to make lithium batteries, which I'm guessing are probably higher powered batteries than the normal ones. But uh, anyway, that's the high level overview. I highly recommend that you make a, uh, one of these uh, Greg Tech computer cubes when you're looking for a uh, to use the centrifuge so you can find the recipes easier. It does have to be hooked up to power and it is all low voltage so uh, be well aware of that and they will explode very violently if you try to power them with a uh, higher level of power so be very careful with that but uh, the computer cube will have all of the latest recipes in it uh, the current version, uh, these recipes are all for the current version of uh, Greg Tech that is in the Feed the Beast mod pack. There is a newer version of the mod pack out where a lot of these recipes get moved over to the industrial electrolyzer, which we'll have to take a look at in a future tutorial. Uh, so be aware that these the uh, recipes that are uh, you're seeing right here. Uh, may not be the most current uh, versions of the recipes and made and are not necessarily in the version that you're uh, running. Uh, they are in the current as of uh, December 2nd version of the Feed the Beast mod pack and uh, may not be there for too long. I don't know how when they're actually going to update the uh, Greg Tech mod as part of the mod pack. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and it gives you a little bit more of an idea on how to use a couple of these uh, couple of pieces of this mod. Uh, there are a lot of various bits and pieces that are in this mod so uh, and the Feed the Beast mod pack as a whole so I do plan on doing more tutorial videos coming up as well and uh, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!